Hello everybody, it is Hokey Hut, and it is chapter 3, or chapter 2, depending on how you count it, of Harriet Tubman, or who is Harriet Tubman. Okay, so let's begin. Chapter 2, Looking for the North Star. Harriet was not the same after she got well. She suffered from headaches. Sometimes she had sleeping spells. One minute she might be awake and talking, the next she would be sound asleep. The spells frightened her. She heard a rumor. Mr. Brodus, her master, was going to sell her. He would sell some of her brothers, too. What would happen to her? She might be sent farther south, to New Orleans, Louisiana, or Nat Natchez, Mississippi, in a, in a chain gang. In a chain gang, the slaves were chained together at the ankles to prevent their escape. The trip, the trip south would be, as, be long and hard. If Harriet fell asleep in the, ro in the road, the overseer would whip her. He might whip her very hard and leave her to die. Her brothers would not be able to save her. Even if she could survive the trip, Harriet knew that being sold someplace farther south was a bad thing. There were so many of cotton plant there was so many of the cotton plantations were. Cotton and tobacco. Plantation owners in the south grew many different kind of crops, which they could sell for money. Two of the most popular were cotton and tobacco. Cotton was used for cloth and clothing. The plantation owners needed many workers to plant and pick the cotton. The first, the, first the slaves had to pick the little balls of cotton from the ground, from the cotton plants. Then they had to clean the cotton balls to make, to make them ready for spinning. Slaves toiled long and hard to do this, to do this backbreaking job. Tobacco was another commonly grown crop. Slaves are also used to plant and pick tobacco. The owners of the big plantations knew that without slaves working on the working for them, there would be they would not be able to grow the crops that bought brought in their money. They told themselves that slavery was all right because they needed to work they needed the workers. But the wealth enjoyed by the plantation owners was made from the blood and sweat of the slaves who worked for them. Here's a picture of a cotton plant and here's a picture picture of a tobacco plant so there's very diff there's a lot of differences in them working in the cotton fields was very hard work also the far the going farther south meant she would be further from the northern states further from her freedom harriet did not want to be a slave all her life she wanted desperately to be free Harriet began to pray that Mr. Brodus would die. To her amazement, he did get sick and died soon after, and Harriet was found that, found that, that she was sorry. She believed it was wrong to have prayed for his death, but now that she, knew, she had a new owner who was more fair, his name was Dr. T Anthony Thompson. Dr. Thompson hired Harriet and her father out as a builder named John, named John Stewart. At first, she swept, dusted, washed clothes, and made the beds for Mr. Stewart's house. But she hated the work, and she asked if she could work outside with the men. Mr. Stewart agreed. Harriet worked alongside the men, cutting down the trees and splitting logs. She was a good worker. Sometimes Mr. Stewart let her take other jobs. She even earned some money for her work. She had to give Mr. Stewart part of the money, but she could keep some of it. Harriet looked for more outdoor work, hauling logs, driving an ox cart, Plowing fields. Harriet worked five years for the builders. She became even stronger and more capable. She was more than 21 years old now, all grown up. Her father kept teaching her things, too. He taught her to move through the woods without making a noise. He showed her how to find the North Star near the Big Dipper. The North Star was a guide li guiding line for the slaves. It showed the way north, the, the way to freedom. Ben told his daughter that... With the North Star in sight, you would, you would know that you were headed in the right direction. But what if there was a cloudy night and stars were hidden? Ben told his daughter to feel the trees for moss. Moss grew only on the north side of trees. Even without the North Star, the moss could help a traveler. Harriet listened to her father had to say. She remembered his words in time. They would help her. Okay, so that is it for the video and the next chapter... For next episode is called A Free Man's Wife. So, I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Please leave a like and subscribe. And, yeah, thanks.